Hey guys, and welcome back to some Satisfactory. We're starting off by putting down our space elevator so we can get to tier 3 and 4. And today's goal is definitely going to be to get to coal power and probably unlock tier 2 power poles. The tier 1 power poles are definitely not the greatest. I like having tier 2 so I can connect more things to one pole. And uh, now before I rearranged a bunch of stuff. I wanted to find some uh, power slugs so that we could start overclocking and underclocking our machines. Some of the things I want to rearrange so that it works properly, we'll have a few underclocked machines. I uh, figured I'd just grab these now. Also, I was thinking of updating to experimental for update 7 features, but I think I'm going to wait uh, until next episode because the current build is pretty uh, spicy. There's things like when you try and place uh, conveyor belts, they make the game drop frames like crazy, you go down to like 15 FPS. So I figured I'd wait till there's a little bit more of a stable version of it, and then we'll definitely switch so that we can get blueprints and a bunch of the other cool stuff they're adding. And now that we had the overclocking unlocked, I deleted a lot of the stuff we had over here and rearranged it so that we could start making smart plating. So it's making screws, plates, and rods and putting them into those storage containers. And then I added the assemblers up on this little hill here, which are making rotors and reinforced iron plates. And because I was still on Logistics 1, I figured I need to unlock Mark 2 Logistics now so that I can actually make that little module there work fully. As the miners putting out 120, but the belts are still only at 60. Milestone reach. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. And now that that was done, I went to upgrade the input belt so that these machines could actually start working to 100%. And then I finally added the last two assemblers to make smart plating. And now we wait until we get 50. Once I get a decent coal power set up, I'm going to start working on some actual factory buildings. So I'll probably rip down all this stuff again and make some nice looking buildings instead of having it all out in the open. Another thing I'll want to do pretty soon is ramp up our concrete production so that I can actually build, because right now our concrete is coming in pretty slow. And here we go, sending off our first space elevator with the smart plating. And in preparation for the coal power, I added three more assemblers here with another miner for the copper to make uh, copper plates so that we can make the pipes for the water. I also disconnected the assemblers making smart plating so we could start building up rotors and reinforced iron plates. And now we're just about to unlock the coal power. It's going to be so nice to set up an actual power plant. The uh, biofuel generators are getting pretty annoying now so this will be nice alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup coal has been added to the resource scanner and while I was waiting for reinforced iron plates and rotors to build up in the storage I decided to go start researching the Caterium line so we can unlock mark 2 power poles and as I've started in the desert a few times now, I knew where it was, so I just ran over from over there and built uh, the miner and started setting up a little thing over here for quick wire. And at this point, our power situation was getting pretty spicy, so even this little setup over here almost shut off our power grid a few times. And now we have quick wire being made and being put into some storage containers. I usually do a setup like this pretty early on and just throw it all into a resource sink besides the stuff I need for the power poles so that we can get some early tickets. I'll probably also add some resource sinks over at the quartz area that we set up in the last episode. And speaking of resource sink, that's what I was unlocking next while I was still waiting for the rotors and reinforced plates. I wanted to unlock this so that we could get our first few tickets for concrete foundations. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. 
Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. I usually like unlocking the concrete foundations pretty early so that I don't need iron plates to build foundations anymore. And after I unlocked that, I also selected our next milestone, which was steel production. And then ran back over to the quick wire to set up a sink for our first three tickets. And then unlocked the concrete foundations and then disconnected the sink for now because it uses a lot of power. And uh, we're getting pretty close to setting off the uh, circuit breaker. Once I get the coal set up, I'll reconnect it and add the other ones near the quartz. And with that done, I ran down to the area I like setting up my first coal power plant and started work on that. I only had enough materials to set up the first four generators, so that's all I set up for now. And then uh, later on we'll expand it. And now that we have this starting up, this will probably be our main source of power up until we use fuel generators. I usually like using coal up until I unlock the blender, and then I can get the diluted fuel recipe for fuel generators. You can do it earlier with packagers, but I like to just skip those because it's a lot more work to set those up with the fuel recipe. And as I was setting this coal power plant up, I was realizing how much I don't like the placement of things. So I'll probably end up moving it to later in the episode once I have more materials to do that. I didn't like how high the foundation was and I also didn't like the pipes going through the floor without the pipe floor attachment things from the awesome shop. Once we update to update 7, we'll be able to do stuff like this in the blueprints and then just have little modules we can combine together like a little puzzle which will be a lot faster for setting things up like this. We'll also make things like setting up manifolds a lot faster as well, like for smelters and stuff. We won't have to place every single splitter and smelter every time, we can just do bundles of them. So I'm really hoping there's a more stable version of that by the time I start filming the next episode. And from what I've seen, I think you unlock blueprints in tier 4, so we should be able to get them right away once they update, as long as they have the materials for them. We're pretty much almost done here with the little four coal generator power plant. At this point, I was trying to just rush it and get it done because I didn't know how much uh, biofuel we had left in the biofuel generators back at our base. I definitely didn't want our power to blow up before I turned this on because I want to be on a self-sustaining power plant before that happens. So once we get these final belts hooked up here, we just have to bring in our coal line and then plug it all in and then it should start working. And I don't know why, but I didn't plug in the coal miners yet, which I should have because then I could have had coal waiting to come in right away. But instead now we're gonna have to wait for the miners to spool up and then for the coal to go across our really slow belts. And the spot we're at has two impure nodes, so I ended up having to merge the lines here so we get a full 60, as that's how much we will need for four coal generators for now. And once I plugged in the final wire, uh, everything blew up so I had to run back and disconnect the main part of our base that was producing our rotors and reinforced plates temporarily so that I could go jumpstart the coal power. So once those were disconnected I ran back and made sure that all this stuff was starting to work and we had coal on the way. In the next episode I'm probably definitely just going to be working on making what we have currently look a little nicer and start building like a main storage or maybe just like our main little hub area so that we can start having a nice looking area. And with most of the areas that I'm going to be working on, I'm definitely going to be pre-building infrastructure for stuff like trains and stuff so that we can add those later. After the power had been running for a while and I saved up more materials, I overclocked these miners and rebuilt the whole power plants. So now we have eight going here for uh, 600 watts of power. And that's about it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying this series, please consider subscribing for more content so you don't miss out. And I will see you guys in the next video.